In this video, I'm going to go through the process of creating the best covers possible for your low and no content books. So much so that you create covers that customers can't resist and it inclines them towards buying it. Now most of the time when we create covers, we create sort of low to average quality covers which is fine to a certain extent and through these covers you can expect some amount of sales. But when customers look at these kinds of covers as well as the competition's covers, there's no real differentiation and they sort of look similar in terms of quality. What customers then do is, you know, they'll click on one of them, one that catches their attention and if they're happy with it, they'll go ahead and buy it. However, a few years ago that was totally fine and people would sell a lot of books that had sort of low to medium quality covers but as you guys already know that low content publishing has become competitive over the last couple of years, more and more people have found out about this business model and are publishing books in volumes and the best way to stand out is by creating stunning covers, covers that pop out and look amazing. So when customers search for a particular book and yours is one of them, it grabs their attention straight away towards your book and makes it irresistible to click on and also buy. So how do you go about creating these kinds of covers? What you first want to do is search for the niche that you're publishing in on Amazon and you want to look at other covers to see the types of covers that they're creating and if there's any that catches your attention what you want to do is take screenshots of them so that you can sort of create a mood board and I'm going to show you in a few moments what the mood board may look like. So that's what you want to do, you want to find some covers that you like. Of course you're not going to copy them, you're just gathering them for ideas and inspiration and you don't even have to limit yourself to getting ideas from books. You can get ideas other ways. For example, if I go over here, you can see that I typed in camping t-shirts. So what you want to do is just look through some designs and you want to take screenshots of some of the ones that you like. In addition, you can also go to websites such as Creative Fabrica and Vecteezy and then just type in the theme of your book. So in this case, it's camping. So as I'm using camping journal as an example, I've typed in camping over here in Creative Fabrica. So you want to look at designs and, you know, graphics that you like and something that can inspire you and you want to take screenshots. So I've taken a few screenshots from here as well as from Amazon and then I've also taken a couple of screenshots from Vecteezy easy so this is what you want to do you want to gather some ideas that you can base your design on the next thing you want to do is upload these designs onto canva to create a mood board so you can see here that i've uploaded some of the screenshots that i've taken so this helps in creating a good design so what i did was i had a look at these designs and to have an idea of something i can create myself and this particular design here on the top left stood out for me so i decided to create something similar so I went over to Creative Fabrica and I found this particular graphic. So it's this one over here. So what I did was I downloaded this and then I uploaded it onto Canva. And over here you can see that for the first version of my cover, I created this. So this is just a plain background and then this element on top. And I decided to call my camping journal Camp Life. So you can see here that I named it as V1, as in version 1. And what a lot of people do at this stage is you know they're satisfied with the design and they export it but instead what I did was I created a version 2 so if I scroll down you can see that I decided that you know instead of a plain black background an image will look better so this is exactly what I did and in the next version which I call version 3 you can see that I decided to make the text a little bit more bold so over here you can see that it's a little bit thin and it doesn't really stand out too much so I made it bold over here and it's at this stage that you want to ask yourself you know how can I make my cover 40% better or 30% better and as you ask these questions you get ideas in your mind as to how you can do this so this is exactly what I did and you can see that I created a version 4 and in version 4 you can see that I sort of rotated the text a little bit and then once again I asked myself how can I improve on the cover so what I did was I got rid of the A and you can see that in its position I put in this camping tent so if I just ungroup this you can see that all I did was I just got rid of the A and then over here in the middle I added some space and then I added the camping tent to fill in the space. And I didn't just leave it here, I asked myself, okay, how can I improve it a little bit more? Maybe 10% or 20% better this time. So what I did was I created a version 6 of it. And you can see that I added a triangle here just for the letter A to stand out a little bit more. 
And then what I did after that was I asked myself again, okay, how can I improve it a little bit more? Maybe 7% or 5%. And then I came up with a version 7. And you can see that in version 7, I actually got rid of the background. And instead what I did was I reverted back to the black background. And I added this particular element over here, just this pattern, just so that it doesn't look plain. And this is an element from Creative Fabrica. If I just go over here, you can see that it's this particular element. It is a pro element. And if you decide to use these kinds of elements, then of course you'll need to subscribe to Canva Pro. And all I did was I just placed it in the background and I reduced the transparency. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And once again, I didn't just leave it at that. I asked myself, how can I improve on it further? And then I came up with a version 8. And what I did here was I changed the color of the text to this sort of creamish yellow color. And then the color of the tent to match the green color that's over here. And then what I did was I created a version 9. So in version 9, what I decided to do was to add the text camping journal. So this is exactly what I did. And then in version 10, I decided to you know just improve on it a little bit further so what i did here was i changed the color of the text over here to orange and in addition i also added a drop shadow so the way to add a drop shadow is you just want to select it and you want to click on effects and then shadow and then over here you just want to play around with it until you find something that you like and something that stands out and then at the bottom over here, finally, I created the final version. And this is version 11. So what I did was I just changed the font of the text camping journal to, you know, a different font. And this is my final design. So if I go back all the way to version 1, you can see that, you know, it looks like a pretty simple and boring looking cover. And then in version 11, you know, it's much better and stands out. So hopefully by creating these kinds of covers that look good, you can grab customers' attention and it gives you a higher chance of selling your books. So this is how you can create high quality designs yourself. Of course, if I spent more time on it, I could have created something that looks much better. But for the sake of this video, I didn't spend too much time on it. Go ahead and use this method if you want to. And also it's important to note that creating high quality covers isn't the only thing needed to have successful books in KDP. It's equally important nowadays to market your books and run ads on them. If you'd like to learn about an easy and low cost strategy for running ads on your books, then check out the video that's on the screen now. And thank you for watching.